Hey guys, welcome back to Plex and Tech. Today, I'm gonna to take a look at an app offered by Plex that allows you to monitor your Plex server. That app is called the Plex Dash app, which is short for the Plex Dashboard app. And I came out with this app about three years ago, and it's really, really nice. I use it all the time. Now, it's only available for Plex Pass members. So you do have to be a paid subscriber to Plex to be able to use this app. At least that's what it says. I don't know if they've changed that. That's the way it was in the past. So you need to go to the Android uh, Play Store or the iOS App Store, and that's where you can download the Plex Dash app. You can see I have it here on my screen on my Android phone. So once you go ahead and get that installed, you just need to go ahead and open it up and then you can start uh, checking the server logs and see what's all playing and a little information about what's playing. So let's take a look at that right now. So once you go ahead and open up the app, you're gonna be presented with the now playing screen. That's gonna show you the media that's being played, who's playing it, whether it's local or somebody remote, like one of your friends that connects to your server. So as you can see right now, I have the movie Sick playing a recent horror movie. You can see it's playing in 1080p, that's H.264 codec at 7 megabit per second. And it is direct playing this file, I can tell you that right now. Now you can look at a little more information, clicking those three dots next to it, just shows you those information there you, about the item. And you can even edit the artwork if you wanted to. But what I want to show you above that is you've got a history uh, item. You can click up here, so the very upper left, when you click that, and that shows you all the movies or TV shows that have been played recently on your Plex server. That gives you an idea, hey, you know, what is popular, what's not popular, stuff like that. Next to that, you have that little graph, and you press that, and that's going to give you access to your server dashboard that you would see if you were looking at the Plex server. So you can see you've got our bandwidth usage there, and then below that, your processor and it shows you both the media server and the system, just like the, the uh, bandwidth shows you your local and remote. And then at the very bottom, it shows you your memory uh, that's being used for the media server and your system. Now on that main now playing screen, you can also see, you know, it gives some information about, you know, where I'm located. That's not super accurate. I'm not actually in Columbia, but that's sort of seeing my ISP. So it gives you some of that information there as well. Now, if you go down to the bottom, you can see it has a one next to the little play because obviously there's only one file playing. Next to that, you can click the search and then it lets you search for a title. In the middle here in the bottom, it gives you your top charts for both movies and um, TV shows. So you can look at those. You can see we've watched, watched a lot more movies than we have TV shows recently. So those are the two there. You just scroll back and forth. Off to the right of that, it's just going to give you access, uh, show you basically all of your um, libraries on your Plex server. And then the gear icon lets you see like your account and it gives you the server. You can choose between servers there, a dark or a light theme, I believe it is, and a black, dark, or light theme for the app. In your advanced, you can delete caches or share logs. Then you can actually get access to that server log there. It's gonna actually show you like a terminal there. And then you go back to that same server graphs that we were just looking at on the main screen. And you can rate the app and about. So that's pretty much it. You know, I just like to use this. I use it all the time to see if somebody connected. If I need to restart my server, I might wanna see, hey, is anybody connected now? Because you can end the playback, and I think it was in these three dots here. When you click those three dots, you can go stop playback. You can actually give someone a message there. Hey, I had to reboot server or something, and it will actually display that message on the screen in the Plex app, let somebody know why you disconnected them. So that's why I like to monitor it, get an idea, obviously you get a little bit more information if you were to actually go into the dashboard in your Plex server. And if you really want to monitor everything going on down to whether it's using hardware encoding, you know, what is it converting the files to, if, if it's transcoding them, you know, you can get way more in-depth information using the Tetsalui app. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I've never actually heard how you pronounce that. I used it years ago and I love it. 
It's a, it runs on Python on your computer, and then they do have an app. You can actually access it from your mobile phone, but then they also you pull it up through your web browser on the computer, uh, any, really any computer that can connect to the appropriate port. But that one's a little trickier. I said running Linux, getting the right Python version, and the Plex Dash app does enough. I just never got around to it, but if you want to do more on that, I would check into that. It's a little bit more advanced setup, but not too bad. The app's a little harder to get going. But if you're interested and want a video on that, let me know. Uh, I can always, you know, dig around and figure out how to get it going on my computer, and I can show you that. You can run both since the Plex Dash app works natively with Plex. You can run the Tetlui, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, app as well on your computer, and you can access both. And the Tetlui, it, it, it just has so many options. You can send out email notifications and email people every time that there's some update or anything you're doing anytime a new media file is added but again, again plex has done so much where now the plex app on your mobile phone will tell you when new media is added to the server so they've made it where tetsu is less uh needed as it was several years ago all right guys that wraps up this video for uh the plex dash app if you're new to uh the plex uh, Plex and Tech channel, please consider subscribing, click that bell, I'll be notified every time I do upload a new video. And as always guys, have a great day.